Hi, I'm Kara Schuler. I'm the developmental editor for Silvergrain Classics magazine. Our friends at Jobo recently brought out a bunch of different uh, photochemical kits, and I'm the lucky one. I get to test out how they work, and I'm excited about this whole thing. Today, I have the, the C41 process, which is for color negative film. And uh, obviously, before I test out some developing chemicals, I have to have a film shot to develop. So that's what I have to go do first. Um, I have here an Olympus XA, which is a camera I've never used before. And uh, I'm excited to try it out. It's really cute, compact. It was designed by Maitani um, in kind of the golden era of Olympus cameras. Uh, we have an, an article about that in our issue 18, which is why I know that um, cool article. So maybe you want to check that out. There's a link in the description. Um, but I'm going to take some Kodak Portra 400 film out, and then I'll have a film to develop. So I'm back at the Silver Grain Studio and Lab, just trying to warm up a bit now. Um, it's a little nippy outside. Um, but before we start doing any developing, obviously we have to have all our stuff assembled and ready to go. This is a three bath kit, so we need to have three plastic containers and three beakers. They all need to be labeled clearly as always because you don't want to be mixing up any little rest of chemicals that you might have had from your last usage. And uh, I'm going to be using an automatic processor today, but um, this would also be possible to do by hand. Then in that case, you would need to have a, oops, a thermometer and a timer like we have up there on the wall. Right, before I start mixing anything though, I have to decide how much do I actually need to have. Um, that's an important thing to mention with these chemicals because the kit makes two and a half liters, which can develop up to 40 films. Obviously, I don't have 40 films to develop today. Um, maybe some of you do, but I don't. So I only need 500 milliliters. Now, um, it's important to really only mix up as much as you need at one time because the color, color developer, that only has a shelf life of about a week once it's been diluted. So, um, right, I'm gonna make the 500 milliliters. And as always, safety is an important thing. So that's why I'm wearing my very fashionable lap glasses and um, the gloves. I almost said it in German, Hanschuhe, the gloves that we have here at the lab. And uh, obviously keep all photochemicals and other chemicals out of the reach of children. With our big baby, the Jobo ATL3, 
Um, we are really, really happy to have this in, in our lab. It was uh, actually made for professional photo labs in the day. And uh, <laughs> it's talking to me. Um, yeah, we've got all the chemical set up in here. And uh, it's already preheated, set for uh, 0 0.5 liters, 500 milliliters. And so I just clip this on. Oh, I should say we're very impressed. It is accurate to one tenth of a degree. So, um, right, you can just clip on the film holder and then use the nifty controls here to lower it into the bath. Ta-da. So I'm really happy with my results, which is not surprising. Jobo is a great company and they have a really high quality line of products, whether it's the drums or the processors and now this uh, line of developing chemicals. But before I get into talking about the kit, let me just talk a little bit about this little camera, the Olympus XA. Um, we just had an article about it in issue 18 about uh, actually not about this camera so much specifically, but about Maitani, who was really a genius designer who was working for Olympus. This has happened to come out at the time that he was designing things. And uh, that's a really interesting article that you could pick up in our magazine, which is available on our shop. But um, I also wanted to say that it was just a fun camera to shoot with. And uh, we were really amazed about the quality of the results. When we were looking at the scans, we actually accidentally put them into the Leica folder at first because they were so sharp. Um, we were shooting with the Leica R4 and this Vario Elmar lens, the 3570. And the pictures that I made with this tiny little compact were just as sharp as with the Leica Vario Elmar. So that was pretty impressive, I think. Uh, if anybody wants it, well, I probably just jacked up the prices on eBay. Sorry about that, but go check it out anyway. Maybe you can get one. But onto the kit. Um, this C41 kit is a three bath process. I should mention that since many kits are actually two bath kits. Um, I didn't find that was a problem. Yeah, it takes a little bit longer, but not really noticeably. And it's very easy to use. Uh, the results were excellent. Um, like I said, unsurprisingly from Jobo. Um, it's kind of like, you know, your bus that always runs on time or the washing machine that cleans your clothes reliably. It's things that make your life actually really comfortable and really nice. And you, you don't always appreciate them, but they're just really reliable and they give excellent results all the time. And so shout out to Jobo for being another one of those products. This kit uh, kind of makes a standard number of films per liter and it's got pretty much standard developing times. If you do have a pH meter, you may be able to go beyond the manufacturer's recommended suggestions here. Um, it's something where Jobo is, tends to be quite conservative. They want to make sure that people who don't have a way to test it will definitely be on the safe side. But if you do have a way to test your chemicals, uh, I would definitely recommend trying that because you can often get more use out of them than is officially stated in the, in the information. Um, yeah, so that's, a, that's another good thing about this kit. If there were one thing that I would say to Jobo, Jobo, if you're listening, it would be nice if you would sell the components of the kit separately. Um, it does happen sometimes you let one of the solutions, you know, kind of get a little bit past its due date and then you're thinking, gosh, I have to buy another whole kit. Um, so it would be great to be able to just replace the solution that you need. It's also environmentally more responsible. You don't end up with all these excess chemicals and having to tip them out. So um, Jobo, that would be our suggestion for you for the future. But in general, this is just a really great quality kit. It's professional quality, but in a size that, you know, non-professionals can also use. So we're looking forward to testing it out further here in the lab. We do uh, use it professionally. 
So we'll probably be writing about that in our blog. If you want to check that out, it's at silvergrainclassics.com. We have a lot of interesting articles for, for from film shooters uh, and from film shooters around the world. Also, if you test out the kit and you'd like to tell us about your results, we'd love to hear about it. Um, info at silvergrainclassics.com. That's where you can send us an email. And the next picture you see will be the places where you can order your kit if we have motivated you to do so.